Hello again, Santa Monica. Council Member Sue Himmelrich here with Tuesday's update on what we are doing in Santa Monica about coronavirus. Everyone is wondering how long this will go on, and the answer is no one knows for sure. Yesterday, our president said it could be weeks, if not months. Of course, it's unclear how reliable that information is. Here in California, it's too soon to tell whether the virus will spread, as it is doing in New York, or whether the steps we've taken will bend the curve. The city of Santa Monica has timed our emergency orders to run through the month of April. At this time, that seems like the earliest we might see any easing of the restrictions. We will keep you informed as federal, state, and county public health agencies give guidance. Remember, the more each of us does to avoid exposure or to expose others, the sooner we can be begin the long recovery that lies ahead. One important point, we need to stop the panic buying and hoarding that is putting unnecessary stress on the people trying to supply us with our food and necessities. It is crashing delivery services, creating lines at markets, and sending people to multiple stores. We need to buy only what we reasonably need to maintain our households for the week ahead. We should ask our neighbors, especially seniors, if we can pick up something for them if we are going to the store. Let's share what we have and get through this together and help our stressed grocery workers do their jobs for us. The spirit of helping others is the bright side to this dark time. Many of you have asked how you can help. On our city's webpage at santamonica.gov coronavirus, we not only have the latest updates, we also have everything you need to know to help out. Go to the link marked volunteerism and what you can do to find out how to help your neighbors volunteer or donate needed supplies. We are Santa Monica and we care. Let's show it and get through this emergency together. I have some good news. Yesterday, the situation at the beach in Palisades Park improved dramatically. People are not crowding the beaches as they did on the weekend. We all need to use our common sense. We need to exercise close to our homes and keep our travel to a minimum. Vital city services are still being provided. Water is safe and plentiful. We're picking up trash. The buses are running to get essential workers to their jobs, and our streets are safe. We are carefully monitoring the health of all of our first responders, and we are testing any of our workers who show concerning symptoms. We at the city are also looking ahead to the long recovery. The city has banned evictions for both residential and commercial tenants due to the economic impacts of this emergency. We are working closely with nonprofits, business groups, and community leaders to ensure we are doing everything we can to help ease the impacts on the well-being and economic security of our community and everyone in it. Please stay tuned for more updates. We are on social media, and you can sign up for the daily SAMO News and check santamonica.gov coronavirus for the latest updates. By working together and taking care of each other, we will get through this and come out stronger on the other side. So let's stay calm, let's stay informed, and let's stay healthy.